Hey, have you been a little reluctant about going back to school because you were just afraid about incurring all that student loan debt? Um, kind of been on the fence about moving because you don't know what to move, if you'll be able to gain some kind of employment once you get to your new spot. What I want to help you guys out with, it introduces you to what we call a cost-benefit analysis. A cost-benefit analysis is a, um, a formula that we use in business that helps us come to a decision where we're looking at a certain cost that, that we can incur and decide if you want to make that uh, add that cost, acquire that cost rather, and looking at the rewards that you may have with getting it. If that reward greater or less than that cost. If it's greater, you can decide to do it. If it's uh, not greater, you can decide not to do it. Or you might still have a reason, even if it's greater or less, to maybe do either or. Okay? What I'm, we're not going to go into the mathematical part of the cost-benefit analysis. I just want to give you guys kind of like a practical um, use for doing it because far too often I think people look at problems on the surface but aren't really looking more in depth with it, especially in terms of like moving or you know going back to school. But you can use this in pretty much most situations of uh, hard questions you may have in your life. Let's use the example of going back to school. I guess the question you want to look at is, the debt that I can incur for getting this student loan. Just say you go back to school, get your degree, but you got a student loan debt of $100,000. The question you're going to ask yourself is, by me gaining this $100,000 in student loan debt, is the reward in terms of employment and opportunities or different things that I'm going to have in life by incurring this debt, is it greater than me not incurring that debt? Okay? Similar saying to yourself is, the area that I'm living in, is it pro you know degree or can I find gainful employment or competitive wages that I can make a certain amount of money when I don't necessarily need a degree to survive or live a certain lifestyle so that's trying to help you with that decision in terms of just say if you want to move or not sometimes people are reluctant to move because like you know you don't know if you're you know maybe a new area you don't know it too much you don't know if you can seek employment the question you ask yourself if you're in a place where there's not a lot of employment at all or there's not a lot of employment, which you may have a certain skill set for, or your education is based, what are your opportunities going to be there? You know? So that's the kind of thing you got to have to weigh in. You may say to yourself, with me moving to a new place, yes, yeah, more opportunities there, but I really don't want to live there. Kind of like if you come from the big city, you have to move to the Midwest, say North or South Dakota. You know, the lifestyle may not be what you want, but the money may be great. You may say, no. So the reward may be greater. But just the other intangibles, you know, lifestyle, you know, happiness and stuff, that ain't there. But again, we're doing that cost-benefit analysis. Again, we're looking at the cost we can incur. That can be debt or purchase. Any kind of change in your life is the reward greater. And like I said, again, that's a you determine and determine if the reward is greater or not. But I think that helps you out a lot in just saying, I don't want to get student loan debt. I don't want to move because there might not be any opportunities. You don't know. Don't necessarily let it be that one reason. Just kind of go through that analysis, and that helps you brainstorm through everything to help you come to a better decision. I hope that information helped you. Again, this is Deontay Burton, host of Changing Lives. Make sure you go to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Look at all the videos. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. All the videos you see. And uh, most importantly, tap that blue man in the bottom right-hand corner. Take care.